It's YouTube Wednesday. This is a barrel body. This is a barrel. This is this is a plastic barrel. Does it matter that this one is shaped exactly, not exactly like other flat blue plastic barrels? No, it doesn't matter at all. It's it's all the same. You don't have to find exactly this plastic barrel, I assure you. Your plastic barrel will work just fine. What's important is that it is closed to the on both sides. It has a lid and it has a bottom. I normally put the lid down the ground when I do this. Rue, I need you to help me. I want you to stand butt up against this barrel. Just tracing. I'm uh, tracing a line of the barrel. It's not on you. Sure it isn't. I'm using. I'm, I'm running the marker along you so that I actually get a line. We've got a little wider up top. I'm connecting my two lines. So now what I want to do is I need to cut out some areas. I'm going to leave that. All of this gets cut out. this whole section of the barrel. And then I'll trim out the legs and stuff. So now it's saw time. You ever used saws all before? I have not. Great. Okay, so See this line? Uh -huh. We're going to cut along this line. Okay. The saw goes back and forth very fast. Yes. So just, it takes a second to get used to it. I'm going to do your drop in for you. Okay. Um, come around to this side and watch. Don't hold it. Don't hold it? No, so I'm going to leave her alone with it in a minute. Okay. Super! Super duper. It's chicken bacon, but I know. So now, your next cut. Should you choose to accept it. What so many people have wanted to do for so long. <laughs> right to loose crotch. Oh my. Okay? So you're, you're dropping here. Mm -hmm. This is a harder dropping, it's not on a corner. Yeah. So you're just going to have to get it lined up. Giving it pressure and letting it bite. Once it drops in, then you can pick your end up and come down to here. You're going to cut this, cut that, and cut that. <laughs> See this line? This is going to come off too. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to come off too. She's going to cut this line here. This one. Mm -hmm. And then you'll cut. See this one? Mm -hmm. Do we need to make adjustments because that one came in a little? Yeah, I'm going to straighten it out now. Okay. now taken his structural stability away. So this won't hold up near as much weight as we would like. If you wanted to do a rogue figure, you could pretty much do half of the barrel, leave it there, and then just use the other piece right on top. 
Alexa, stop. I prefer 37 and a half inches. That is for my barrel. Your barrel may be different because this barrel isn't exactly like the one you're using. But you don't need one exactly like the one I'm using. Any plastic barrel will work for this. This is a two by six. Two by six. You're gonna cut me two pieces off of this that are 37 and a half inches, and he's gonna use the chop saw out back. You could do it with this. A chop saw is just easier. So what we have here is these were cut. For us, they happen to be 37 and a half inches, right? Yep. So that's, that's what this happens to be. But you want to cut a two by six and you get more stability from a two by six. A two by four is a little thinner and it won't give you quite as much stability. A two by six will give you plenty, but it's not really much wider than the average person's leg. So uh, the two by sixes were cut and we're gonna fit them right into here. I wanna go center of the leg and you're going to screw them in I would probably put one screw in up here mm -hmm. to hold them in place, and then probably three screws down the front yeah. for each one. I have now set the top of, well, the other half of the barrel on top of this half of the barrel and I want to mark it some. Uh, I cheat it, by the way. I run it about an inch forward because the legs tend to lean back a little bit and this rebalances the weight by moving it just about an inch forward. I have options for how I want to do the head. I could, honestly, just cut the big old lollipop head out of this and be fine. I could do that. I could do that, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to cut like this and leave myself a nub. I'm going to do the same thing over here for the arm. I right, have an arm nub that I'm going to cut out. So it's almost like that's a t-shirt. But this is a positive nub that I'm gonna cut. Okay, so now I cut this out and then I'll attach this piece to this piece. Saws off, mm -hmm. don't cut towards yourself. It's dangerous. Gotcha. Keep two hands on the saw at all times. If you only have one hand on the saw, that's when you really shouldn't be cutting towards yourself. Basically, I want to drill a hole through these pieces of plastic. So that I can run a zip tie through those. Before we put it together, so the first thing I want to do is cut right through this crotch. Never just let it drop through because you could run that into your leg. Yeah, that would be bad. Don't do that. Now we're hoping that we can get these pant legs over this globule of stuff. 
Before we do that, I'm going to drill some quick holes here so that we can zip tie this back together like a zip. Jumpsuit. Yeah, it's a jumpsuit. Okay, so we trimmed a little bit to make the pant leg fit off the edge, uh, and that worked out really well. So, you know, no issues. Uh, they kind of slid on. Here I am just zip tying the crotch back together. We tucked those in so it doesn't look really weird. And dogs. Getting the other barrel stacked on top and ready to be attached. And we're using the big zip ties for that through the holes we drilled earlier. Tuck those in too, just for fun. I'm a blowtorch. I want to heat this up a little bit along this line and see if I can get it to bend in a little bit. Now I do the neck. I'm gonna do the neck and fold the neck over. Now I'm just rapidly cooling that so it should stay where I want it to stay. You have arm options, all right? You have options on how to make your arms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run wire through both of those uh, tabs that I made and use pool noodles for parts. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, you could also use what you have left out of the bucket and cut arms out of the bucket. And then you'd still need pool noodle because you cut a slit in the pool noodle and you put it over this plastic edge and that fills out your arm. So, that, so then it fills the sleeve up. Because you don't want a flat on. I'm just going to use pool noodles anyway. So, let's get out some heat and roll it. This is ceiling hanger wire. If you don't keep a bunch of this on hand like I do, then you could use copper tubing, you could use Anything that's going to be able to go down the middle of a pool noodle and help it hold its shape. Dollar Tree has white, red, and green pool noodles now for Christmas because Dollar Tree is listening. Yeah, they are. They're like, oh, you want you like to make stuff out of pool noodles? Here's some orange and black Halloween pool noodles. The two wires is just going to hold uh, the pool noodle arms better. I'm just taping the wires together so they kind of track the same. Uh, sometimes two wires, if they're not attached, can do weird stuff. Uh, the pool noodles just go on. And then I'll clip off the end of the pool noodles where uh, we need to attach the hands. And those will get trimmed better later uh, as soon as I know how the hands are going to work. The hot water wires are connected, so now me and Rue are battling to the death. <laughs> and you're losing. I'm so losing. I'm so losing. And yet, I'm done. part of the episode, this is where Alan cops out. Right now in Halloween stores all over, there are actually pretty good deals on different types and sets of hands that are meant to be like yard stakes. These were $9.99 at, uh, at home store. I'm going to take the mummy wraps off and use these, or I could use these that I got from a Home Depot ground zombie. See how they stake into the ground? Um, they come with a head on the stake too, it's just head and hands. Um, but these are all great hands. So, 10 bucks a pair, that's really nice. The hands you decide to use will determine what you have to do to them. I 
I want the wire to help hold these hands on. So I'm just going to bend the wire so that it kind of grabs on the inside and won't let the hand <laughs> fall off. With this bend on it, it'll go in the hand no problem, but it won't come out easily. I'm going to try and squish the pool noodle to get it on there. Ah, that's that worked far better than it had any right to. <laughs>
So make sure that you're backed off enough to where it's not going to be a real harsh hit. Don't be afraid of color. I'm using a purple here. And, uh, you know, I'm just being very, I'm kind of sparing with it. And then I'll go back and calm this down with some other colors. Okay, now the shoes go on, and they just go right up against this, and then we pull down the pant leg over that tab that I put on there, and that just holds the shoe in place. If you don't want the white styrofoam head to show through, you can just cover the eye holes and area with black tape. This is a barrel body. This one happens to look like Michael Myers, but they can look like anything. See how well the base plate hides at night? It's got a base. Uh, it's got a pretty good base on it. Now you can put a weight on that base if you want. So this is a barrel body. This is made out of a 55 gallon drum. Uh, I used a 55 gallon drum. I used clothes from the uh, thrift store, which um, this doesn't have to be Michael Myers. This isn't a how to make a Michael Myers prop video. This is how to make any freestanding character that you want for your yard. This could be Santa if you change his clothes. This could be, this could be anybody. Um, I happened to pick this one because honestly, I just had this mask laying around and I wanted to finish it up because uh, a friend of mine had uh, made it and sent it to me. So um, this is a Michael Myers barrel body that I made. I showed the Bucket Buddies earlier. Those are a smaller version for like leprechauns and Chuckies and elves. But if you want Michael Myers's, is Jason's and Santa's and or whatever, then uh, this is the technique that you might want to use. It's certainly one tool to have in your toolbox, and for the cost, it is an excellent way to get a full-size body. The hands I purchased at a Halloween store right now, they're just ground breaker hands. Uh, you can use any kind of hands that you want, or you could make your own with some of the other videos that I have done. Barrel bodies. Go make stuff! That's what my tombstone's going to say. He was pretty confident. Pretty confident. <laughs>